today we're going to read good night stories for rebel girls. And I'm going to read a story about this lady. She was a Romanian, Sofia Ionescu, neurosurgeon. So once there was a girl with wonderful hands, strong and steady with long, elegant fingers, with hands like those. You could be a pianist or a painter, said her school teacher. Art and music were all very well, but Sofia had something else in mind. A young friend of her had died follow, following brain surgery. Sofia wanted to become a surger, sur, neurosurgeon to help save the lives of people like her friend. At that time, there were hardly any female doctors in Romania. And female neurosurgeons were extremely rare everywhere in the world. Sofia's teacher didn't think she was smart enough even to get into medical school. But she studied hard by the light of straight street light shining through her bedroom window. In her mother's constant support, she passed all her courses and exams and became a doctor. During the Second World War, Sofia volunteered to take care of wounded soldiers in the hospital near her home. She operated on them mostly, performing amputations when their arms or legs had been so badly damaged that they could not be saved. But she still wanted, most of all, to be a neurosurgeon operating on the brain. One day she got her chance. A boy was rushed into the hospital with terrible injuries into his head. None of the other surgeons were there. As bombs fell around them, Sophia took up a scalpel and looked at her hands. They were strong and steady as always. That day, she saved the young boy's life. After the war, Sophia trained as a neurosurgeon. And through her long and distinguished career, she saved many, many more lives. Sophia lived in, since she was born in April 25, 25 1920, and died March 21, 2008. What a powerful story. She saved lives. Thank you for watching.